Hi. So this is YouTuber named Lily Pichu. She's a big, a, uh, 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 she's a big no, no. Jesus. She's a big YouTuber. There we go. She's a big YouTuber. Now, for those of you who don't know who she is, she's known for her cute Hi. voice. Now close your eyes and take a listen to this and try to tell me this is not Kawaii. As f F is for fun. He's the butter oh, to stop. our breath. Pikachu. <laughs> Now your first impression of Luli Pichu might be Oh hey, that's a cute girl with a cute innocent voice And after a few videos Or even a few seconds depending on the videos And you're still thinking that she's a cute innocent girl Then you're fucking delusional For example I'd like to teach the world to pat in perfect harmony Uh, so you know that pickup line where person number one have a crush on number two and then number one says Hey, give it back and number two says give one and then number one says my heart like super cringy But uh, here's here's like a similar scenario to demonstrate my my feelings after listening to that song Hey, uh, um, can you, can you give it back? Uh, give what? Oh, um, I just wanted, I just wanted to have my fucking innocence back. Okay, but enough about this cute voice, Korean, streamer, metal framed glasses, animal loving. That's a long ass list. I'ma stop right there. Violent and abusive. Hmm. I wonder why they would, uh, say something like that. No, seriously, why are people saying she's violent and abusive? Anyways, this is specifically about her outro song. Yep, that one. See, but I've always wondered what it would sound like after this part. Do you feel it? You feel how it fades into silence and leaves you hanging in crippling solitude. And as I search YouTube for an answer, nothing came up. They say Google is supposed to be your best friend. Well, not this time. And you know what that means. I'm gonna write a continuation to this myself. Alright, so we have our project opened up here, and uh, well, let's just start writing, shall we? Oh man, this is gonna take a while, so I'll see y'all back in about five years. Oh wait, I think I'm supposed to do a cliche transition here, so, um, <clears throat> one eternity later. Okay, so here we are, after about like a century, uh, finally finished this arrangement slash composition of Lily Pichu's outro. Um, so, essentially at the beginning, right, I just transcribed everything, uh, as, as it is. Up to like, say, that point, right? That point, that's where she uh, she cuts it off. Um, so from there, all you get is like, this transition into a new idea, right? All you have to go on is like a flute and then some bells. So I was like, well, that, that means that I can do a lot of things with it. I just know that it starts da da da. So I try to I guess follow the beginning skippity skip feel that the xylophone kind of set up. It's kind of like ba 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 ba. Um 
excuse my singing by the way i'm I'm no vocalist <laughs> um so it's, it kind of goes like I had this melody in my head um from that from what we have there so re mi re re mi fa so fa mi re do mi re re mi fa so fa mi re do mi so that's kind of like the melody I had right um so I kind of used that in some variation or another and I put some uh different chords over it so here it is So yeah, the the specific chords are G, uh, D over F sharp, you know, first inversion, and then A, and then I switched that up to like I think C to G to A, just to like have a modal shift to like a uh, from major to mixolydian. Um, oh, this is gonna be the most boring part for people who don't understand <laughs> the musical language, but for those of you who do, or those of you who are just curious, that's kind of what I did. I'm just gonna break everything down. Oh, by the way, do you guys think the original would like would be like a whole orchestra? I guess it's not really a whole orchestra, but like there's more instrument than I would have thought from um, that original tune alone, right? Because like you hear, it's more chambery or like a small group of people, and I could I guess my approach is more of like a small or a larger chamber. It's not quite an orchestra, but a larger chamber group. Um. So this next part is, I made it sound so good, but like, it's so simple, because all I do is just took C to G, that progression, and just like put it down a half step, and then the same with the melody. I was like, wow, when I wrote this, it was like, yo, this is so simple, and it sounds better than it has any right to be. So this next part, right? I mentioned before earlier in the video was like when I first watched uh, Lily Pichu's video, it was like, oh, that's a, a kawaii person, girl, with like you know a cute voice and everything. That's the first thing you'd notice, right? And then <laughs> you watch a few more seconds, and she does some uh, some questionable things, and then you're like, well, this is surely uh, shocking. Uh, I mean, I can accept it, but didn't expect it. So this is what this next part is portraying. Very, very simple in terms of harmony, but uh, some instrumentation changed. So one thing I should mention about how I portray this betrayal of expectation is that I just flipped the harmony. We're in the key of D major, so I just went to A flat major, which is the farthest chord away from D. There are more like dissonant way to portray like surprises uh, musically, but this this is a more straightforward and lighthearted way. So here it is. <laughs> so as this goes on, I just keep repeating the two chords over and over until the dissonance are no longer dissonant. And um. Yeah, this is gonna build up into like, this feels like an adventure, and you know, it is an adventure. And at this point, you just accept the cringiness of what Lulu Pichu is, the essence of Lulu Pichu. Because there's no turning back, you've gone too far, and you must embrace it, you must embrace the cringe, and be reborn! As cringe itself. I'm fucking done. What am I doing? What's wrong with my life? Why am I doing this? So if you've made it this far into the video, then you've got some real patience. Or you just skipped around the video and somehow made it here. But even then, thank you for watching the video. I started this small little project because I was getting pretty sick of college. So I needed something to get my mind off of things. And um, I, I really hope the actual Lily Pichu doesn't see this, but um, but for insurance, uh, 
Alright guys, everything I said at the beginning of the video about Lily Pichu, uh, that was all just my tasteless joke. Uh, yeah, you know, if Lily, if you're watching this, your taste in anime is kind of questionable, your piano playing slightly above mediocre, and Toes is my favorite member of OTV, not you. But your content is very enjoyable, so keep up the good work. You know, now that this video is finished, I wonder if it's okay to post it. Like, I stole a lot of people's content. Like, am I gonna get copy striked? Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh, did you think the video was over? Well, I thought so too, but something happened, so let me explain. So my plan was to post a clip with just the music um, this afternoon, so I can do this zoom out sequence right here with my channel and everything on it. So I can make the zero subscriber joke. But then I went and take a break and you know, came back about like 4 hours later and I saw this. <laughs> what? Okay, so I was either gonna post the other video or this video the next day onto um, Lily Pichu's subreddit, and by then I would expect like 0.5 subscribers by that day. <laughs> so y'all are like a day early? And because of that, in order to make that zoom out sequence, right, I had to like put this thing in Photoshop, slap that one out, and put the zero back in. So, uh, thanks for making me do more work. <laughs> But, um, no, seriously, I, I really appreciate this sub. I'd like to shout out my first subscriber, but unfortunately I can't see them because they have their, uh, their settings on private, so I can't see them under the subscriber tab. And now we'll never know who our first mysterious subscriber is, so it's a sad life in a sad world. But hey, stay tuned, um, I'll, I plan to make more, like, OTV parody kind of thing, because I watch them a lot. Uh, they're, they're a fun bunch. So, uh, yeah, this is the actual end of the video now, so enjoy this music.